Hello and welcome to Ecolics. In this video, we will be discussing about the fourth difficulty a student of economics face. Now, this difficulty is very common. If you are from school or college background or you are preparing for competitive exam or even you are doing your PhD or in the later stages of life, if you are reading any economics related term. The problem is whenever you are going to search a term in economics, suppose you find a term called helicopter money in newspaper. You will try to Google search it. Then you will find five other terms to understand the helicopter money. And that is where you stuck in the web of constant searching of economics related term. And that is where people struggle and people find this subject difficult. So I have a three point solution again for this. This is a fourth difficulty I told you. So if you haven't watched the previous three, you can go watch after this video, all those three. Now the next is what exactly it is. Now, if you compare the economic terms, because in any subject we say conceptual clarity is the most important thing. But let me tell you very, very honestly that you cannot ignore facts. Facts you cannot ignore. Like in Constitution of India, if it is written on right to life on Article 21, you cannot justify with the logic that why this particular article on number 21 or right to equality on article 14. You cannot justify that. So few things you have to accept as it is. And that is where we have the economic related terms. For example, if we say fiat currency, high powered money, these are the terms used in economics textbooks. Or even if you read newspaper, you will find these terms. So how to introduce, how to understand those terms and how to remember those terms. This is the most important thing we are going to discuss in this. So economic terms and the familiarity with them is very, very vital if you want to succeed in this subject. Okay, so we have solution three point. Number one is glossary. Glossary, you understand? There are several resources in terms of books or online resources where we have terminology related to economics. So A to Z, everything has been explained in four or five lines in a summarized way. First step is this. When you're not familiar with the subjects, you have the familiarity of that. For example, if you want to learn any language like English, what you do exactly? You refer dictionary. That is the same thing. If you want to introduce anything with the new subject or in commerce and accountancy, in banking, management, anywhere you'll find these terms. So you have to speak the same language that a particular subject demands. So glossary is the most important thing because you see, you refer and you understand. This is how I also learn by referring to the dictionaries of Penguin and other publishers. You can refer those because these are authentic and you understand each and every concept in a very simple and very simple sober language. Second thing is interrelate those concepts. Now, one thing is very important. We just study. In our mind, we remember like a fiat currency you must have heard about. But you must have heard about a car company called Fiat. So some students, this is how they remember. It should not be like that. You have to understand why this term has been named as fiat. So in fiat currency in economics dictionary, if you see, it's a very simple definition that a currency issued by government, not backed by gold, but it is backed by some order of government. And this is how it is called fiat currency. And it has been given a legal recognition by the order of government or RBI or government run agencies in any country. This is how you issue currency. So this is how you interrelate those concepts. So fiat currency is this high powered money is that then you consider other terms related to this concept and you interrelate this. So when you see any term, you attach one example with that. Like opportunity cost in a first video, we had discussed the opportunity cost. You link it with a real life example. Economics is all about connection, connection with the current related things, connection with the real life example. If you understand this way, it will be very easy. One term called trade-off. Trade-off means this way or that way. So it's a trade-off between two countries. So in a WTA forum, this is, has been used a lot. If we consider another term like most favored nation. Now, most favored nation is a term used in WTO. 
you study, you connect it with an example of India and Pakistan story that there was a problem with the MFN status. So reason is very simple. If you attach any economic related terms with the current news, current example or real life incident, you'll be able to easily remember. And at last, it's very vital to have a discussion. If you don't discuss, you will forget. It's like similar learning any language. If you don't speak, you forget. So that's the last thing, discussion. Have a lot of discussion with your friends, faculties, even you can have with me as well. You do a lot of discussion and this is how you speak the language of economics. And then you'll be able to excel in this career. I hope you like this video. The last one is yet to come. So go watch that. And if you missed previous three difficulties, quickly grab those as well so that you can excel in this subject. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.